This is a quick Forge blog for July 3rd, 2015. We just released a new uh, version of our software, 5.031. So the next time you bring up, bring it up, it will uh, ask you to do an auto upgrade. So just click yes, and then you'll have many fixes, including one that uh, very likely fixes uh, some crash issues for people in different time zones than us. Uh, it lines the bars up correctly, and therefore prevents a certain type of crash, which seems to only happen uh, in other time frames and it was very hard for us to fix uh, but we believe we have fixed that. So I'm just going to do a quick one because it's Sunday and uh, about to leave but uh, here's the euro dollar on Friday it had one nice nice trade uh, and I'm going to show our stats. But here's the Australian yen and one of the things I look for one of the we have about 2150 patterns in there now and one of them is uh, a narrow range pattern and especially when a narrow range pattern happens after uh, a previous downtrend. For instance, uh, you can see in the uh, Australian Yen, it's in a clear downtrend. And it just makes new lows. And then it goes into uh, a multi-bar sideways rectangle pattern for, um, you know, oftentimes an hour to three hours. And with very low volatility. And when it breaks out, it tends to lead to these big, big wins. You know, it, it might be a 50-50 trade, but the wins are three to five times bigger than uh, when it loses. For instance, in this case, when we got into the trade, this was what the risk was. And this is what the ultimate profit was at the close of the bar out of the trade. It, it's, you know, likely four and a half to six times bigger win than what the risk is. So even if it's 30 or 35 percent winning, uh, those type of trades tend to work over time. Here's another one with the uh, pound yen, and it's also another narrow range pattern. Very, very small uh, range rectangle of volatility. It breaks out. This is the risk, and this is the reward. And uh, I'm just going to quickly go over the stats for the week. Um, and keep in mind that every day I fix three to five of the older patterns of the 2100. Uh, trades, 2150 trades, and there's about 30 different categories, and I'm always working on adding new types of trades that our other uh, methods don't find. Um, so every day I add uh, a bunch of new trades and fix some of the old ones. This is the result at the end of that. This, at the beginning of the day, some of these trades didn't exist, and there was also trades that would have showed up as losers. This is just the net result that I uh, keep track of for my own uh, testing, and I also at the end of each week, add this to the all trades list and uh, go through them. You can see this pattern 330 uh, generated 14 pips total, and the average is 2 pips every time, uh, and it's only about 50 50. And most of the trades happened in 2014, as you can see. So this pattern only hit twice this whole year. So I keep track of all this stuff, uh, and I'm always looking to find patterns that hit frequently, but also have a high win rate and also have a high uh, win to loss ratio. So on Friday, after the end of the day, after I added a few patterns and fixed a few, did 294 pips, 76% winning. And again, huge wins, small losses, that's my goal. I want to have most days make 18 to 20 pips on the winners and lose 6 to 8 pips max on the losers. That's my goal. Uh, this day didn't quite hit the average win, but the average loss was less. 93% uh, winning that day, 194 pips. 173 pips on Wednesday, 73% winning and uh, 18 pips average win, which is what I like to, to try to accomplish every day, and the average loss is right around my maximum. Tuesday, uh, 215 pips, 60% winning, uh, average win, 20 pips, average loss. So this was uh, did a little bit better on the wins and a little bit smaller losses than I, I uh, try to get, so it was a very good day. And then on uh, Sunday, Monday of last week was, was a very high volatility. And it had a ton of trades, as you can see. Um, the biggest loser was 12.8 pips, and most of them were under 6. And again, uh, I probably fixed 4 or 5 trades here. Uh, it might have lost um, 50 to 80 pips more uh, on the losers that I fixed. So, you know, between that and some of the, the new patterns I put in here, it might have only made 100, 120 pips net before the start of the day, before I added new patterns and fixed old ones. Uh, but this is just how I do the stats for my own testing. The markets are open as I work, so I can't uh, both leave uh, the program running um, and also 
uh, and keep track of live stats and at the end of day stats. I just decided to do it this way. But uh, that day it did extremely well. High win rate, very decent uh, average win, and average loss smaller than I uh, like. And so at the end of each week, I, I copy uh, all of the, the trades. There's close to a couple thousand now that I um, have uh, I started keeping stats uh, end of last year. I guess uh, in November 19th I started. And there's a few spaces in between them, but there's probably 3,800 trades since last November. So it does give me a good uh, statistical analysis of which patterns work, which ones don't. The ones that work uh, very well in the past, if they show up a loss today, I'll look at it. If there's an easy rule that uh, very likely the older patterns didn't uh, have, I can add to it. It wouldn't negate uh, all the wins that happened in the past and should prevent some of the, the losers in the future. Uh, but the ones that perform well in the past, I'm more apt to just leave them alone. And uh, ones that have less than 50% winners or they don't find huge wins, I tend to um, put a lot more rules in there so they won't show up as often. In fact, some of the rules uh, might make them show up, you know, 80% less. Like it might have to be above the weekly pivot, above the 10, 20, 50, and sometimes even 200-day moving average before it will do a buy, uh, for instance. So it really weeds out anything less than just the ideal trades and some of these patterns that don't, uh, haven't performed well in real trading. So again, we have a new version, 5.031. Uh, once you bring up the software, it'll ask you to do an auto upgrade. Click yes, and let me know if you have any issues with the new version, especially with the FX trade signals. If it does crash for you, let us know. We will work with you, give you a special debug version that gives us uh, a printout uh, because we run this over and over ourselves. It does not crash for us. So there's something different in your situation if it does crash. I mean, one thing we found was uh, people in different time zones could uh, get crashes under situations that we don't normally do ourselves. Uh, so we identified it and, and fixed the crash. Uh, this should be a lot more stable for people that aren't in the eastern time zone.